If you're one of those people that hate static images for your desktop, especially in Windows, and you used to be a Windows Vista user and you miss the feature called Dream Scene, this episode is for you. But first, my name is Steve Smith, this is TQA Weekly, and we're going to be talking about Wallpaper Engine, an early access piece of software available on Steam. But first, I'm going to make it easy on you in making this something that you can do in five steps. So first step is to get the program. If you're not already a member of Steam, the Steam client itself is free. So go ahead and head over to steampowered.com to be able to go and get it. Then we're going to be going to the actual store of Steam. So hold on. So welcome to the Steam store. In order to find Wallpaper Engine, it's like no, any other search engine. Top right and type wall paper engine once you found wallpaper engine you'll be greeted with a way of purchasing said program and once it is bought you can also download it if you're already aware how steam works you just follow the instructions to download wallpaper engine as you would any other game once that is actually installed or downloaded because that's roughly what it is you go over to where your application's games are and you can click launch. You'll be greeted with two options, launch wallpaper engine and of course the 64-bit version which takes more around. Keep that one in mind. We'll be launching the default version. Then you'll be greeted if you have more than one monitor with the ability to select which monitor you want to change. I've already cleared my central screen so we'll be selecting a wallpaper for that one. And you're also, by default, given many different desktops that you can use, choose from. Some static, some wallpaper, some including applications, music, and a whole bunch of other stuff. But let's say you actually wanted something else. Well, at the bottom left, there's something called the Steam Workshop, which brings you back into Steam, by the way. You click that, and you'll have a bunch of choices that you can already select here. All these 89,847 ready to use wallpapers as of today, which is the 20th of May, 2017. So obviously you can pick any wallpaper you want. And if you're interested, you click the plus sign, which means subscribe in this case. And once the wallpaper itself has downloaded, you'll be able to select it. And this is what it looks like as it's downloading. Now that the wallpaper that we want is downloaded, all we have to do is to select it. And it will actually allow us to have the image that we want. To make sure that we actually keep it this time, we click OK. And that's really all you have to do in order to use Wallpaper Engine. Except that, in this case, you keep having to load it each and every single time. So there is something that you can do. If you want to make sure that it loads every time Windows loads, otherwise your normal background will show up, right-click the Wallpaper Engine icon, go to Settings, go to General, start with Windows, click the check button, set high priority, and then click OK. And now, from now on, every time you start up Windows, Wallpaper Engine, independent of Steam, will now load and have all of your desktop images, no matter what it is, loading with you so that you no longer have to deal with those crummy, boring, static wallpaper images ever again. And for those that had Windows Vista and had the Dream Scene feature and miss it, this is the easiest way to get it back. Like or dislike this episode, share with those that you think can benefit from this, and don't forget to subscribe. If you have any questions, comments, suggestions for topics, email me at ask at tqaweekly.com or go to my website, tqaweekly.com for everything else. And if you want to make this show better, go to patreon.com slash tqaweekly and become a patron today. Patrons get these episodes 24 hours in advance of everyone else. Thank you for watching and goodbye.